Find Guitar. This channel is dedicated to finding guitars. I've been a woodworker for 50 years. I've sanded. I've finished. I've worked with a lot of wood. I love playing guitar. I love looking at guitars. 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 This week's feature is OD. All right, here we go with the first one. All right, this looks like it was built for Nam. Okay, pretty nice looking guitar. Got some really nice figuring wood. I'm going to say that's, it's hard to tell. I wanted to say it's walnut, but then again, it's kind of got some tiger stripes like a maple, but it's, it's hard to tell right now. I'm trying to look and see the grain structure of it. I don't know. It might not be maple either. That's a kind of a different grain that's on there. And I like that uh, kind of where they've got the wood look on the pickups there. That's that's cool. I like that. That is cool. Let's see what the other pictures bring us. Okay. Uh, let's look at the back of the headstock. Okay, here we are. Back of the headstock. All right. That's looking like maple and probably purple heart, I would guess, just off the top of my head. All right, let's look at the front side. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right. Some different style tuners there. Nice, nice. All right, let's see what we got. Here's a shot of some of the back of it. This looks like... It, Oh, well, maybe I was going to say this was before it was finished, but I think they may just have a something clear on it. The grain structure looks like some kind of uh, like a swamp ash or an ash of some kind. I do not know for sure, but that would be my guess. All right, let's see what else we can find. Here's another picture. Yeah, that that wood is kind of different. It's I don't know. I think I might have been wrong in my guess here. We'll see if we can find out some more description on it. All right. Let's see what we can find out. Oh, it says the body is swamp ash. Okay. Well, that's some figured swamp ash, if that's swamp ash. I haven't seen swamp ash with that uh, striping in it before. That's what was giving me. I could see this kind of open pore look in this area in here. And other spots that kind of made me think that, well, that don't look like walnut and it doesn't look like maple. All right. Oh, it does say a maple top. If I would have just kept my cool together, it was maple. All right. I mean walnut. Why do I keep saying maple? Walnut. Sorry about that. Okay. That is highly figured walnut, though. Okay. Well, that's what I get for doubting myself all right okay so then we've got hip shot for a bridge okay then we got maple walnut I don't know is that paduk is that how you pronounce that I may not be correct and then flame maple okay seven different pieces laminated together all right, and then we have an ebony fretboard, bare knuckle silo. I think that's that. Uh, oh, what is his name? He's a YouTuber that used to be on uh, Anderton. God, I can't think of his name right now. Oh, Rabir, I think is how you pronounce his name. Rabir Massad or something like that. That's what I think. All right. Well, that's what I get for doubt myself. I was right with the walnut. Usually they don't flame like that, but that's a really nice piece of walnut. All right. Here's another one. It's kind of got a somewhat of a familiar shape to me, at least. A lot of, I'm assuming it's headless, the way it's looking. To me, they use this body shape. A lot in headless guitars. All right, there isn't a whole lot to look at in pictures, so we'll look at this picture. 
I like the way they stain that. That little bit of a orangish color there. That's cool. And uh, I'm not exactly sure. I think this is some type of ebony that's on here. I'm not exactly sure. Let's see if we can find out something. Let's go here. All right, so I'm not going to jump to conclusions this time. It looks like it's a multi-scale. Black Limba. 4A quilted maple top. It's white ebony, it says, for the fretboard. Three-piece for the neck. Mahogany and wing gay. <clears throat> Bare knuckle pickups. Again. Okay. So, yes, that's nice. It says it's made in Israel. Okay. I never did really look and see uh, where these guitars come from. Okay, here we go with another one. All right. This one is. Got some nice figuring to it. All right, and the uh, pickups, they kind of got a little bit of color to it to blend in with everything. I like when people do that. That, to me, is kind of a classy look. You, you know, it blends in with the guitar aesthetically and everything. And it seems like this kind of rib detail around the edge is kind of their claim to fame. I see that. Most of their guitars, if not all of them, have that on there. Okay, let's look at the pictures and see what we can find here. Okay, here we go. Back of the headstock. All right. Okay. All right, the front of the headstock. All right, cool. All right, so let's check out the neck. All right, looks like it's a multi-laminate neck again. All right, let's see if we got, what's this? A little bit of a shot of the back. They're not giving us a whole lot. That's looking walnut to me again on the back here. That is my guess. And the front, I'm guessing, is curly maple. But let's see if we can find out what's going on here. Okay, this one was a Nam guitar, it looks like. Mahogany body. Hmm, mahogany, huh? Let's get back to this shot again. All of yes, now that I open this up. Wow, that is some figured mahogany. That is a nice looking... Oh, very nice. I like that a lot. Yes, indeed. All right. Okay, then maple top. All right. Okay, matching headstock. Okay. Yep, five piece. All right. Fingerboard is master grade maple. Let's see. Do we have a shot of that? Yeah, we do. All right. That is really cool. That inlay is a little different. I wonder if that kind of glows in the dark stuff. Let's see. Do they say anything about the inlay? Yep. <laughs> Glow in the dark. All right. I guess I didn't. I was looking at the maple. All right. And the silo pickups again. All right, here's another one. Wow, look at that. That is looking like burl to me. Kind of like a burl poplar. That's kind of my uh, guess right off the top of my head here. Yeah, that's kind of cool looking. Not bad at all. Let's see what we got for pictures. All right, back to the headstock. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, this is looking like mahogany with a uh, maple stripe in there. Let's see with the front of the headstock. Okay. Let's get some more shots. There's another shot of the front. Let's see if we can get some. Oh, here's the back. There's what I was looking for. Wow, that's looking like black limbo to me. Yep. 
That's my guess. Okay, let's go back to the front. All right, let's see what we can find out. Okay, so. All right, yep, Black Limba. Yep, Poplar Burl. That was what I was thinking it was. Okay. Black Limba inlay. The neck is mahogany and maple. Ebony fretboard. All right, 24 nickel. Go to frets. Okay. Bare knuckle pickups again. Hip shot bridge. All right. Okay, here we go. Well, another one. It's got some really nice wood. Looks like they pick out some really nice wood for these guitars. They're, you know, not cheap either. They're not super expensive, but they're not cheap. Okay, let's see. We don't have a whole lot of shots of the this guitar. Okay. All right, pretty nice looking guitar. All right. Well, I'm going to call it a week on this one. And uh, as far as the information I can tell, they're made in Israel, or at least that's where the company's from. I'm not exactly sure if all the guitars are made in Israel or not. Um, they have a good reputation. They play really nice. They're not terribly priced. They're not cheap, but, you know, for what a guitar costs these days with good quality wood on it and plays really nice they're not outrageously priced I'd like to play one sometime give it a try see what it's like alright you have a good week peace